Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2018 Audi R8 5.2 RWS, the rear wheel series model. And that's what the um, red vinyl is for on the front and on the top of the roof, identifying it as a one of 999 RWS car. This one specifically has 4,589 miles. And this is a 5.2 as well, the B10. Looking at the cosmetic condition of the car, this Mythos black metallic paint looks phenomenal. Here along in the front, uh, there are no rock chips, no blemishes. The hood looks flawless. And typically the front end of the car has the most cosmetic wear and this car has none on the front. So that's a good sign. Um, looking at the front driver's side fender area, this is all one piece molded into the hood, but typically would be a driver's side fender. Does not have any blemishes. <coughs> front driver's side wheel, looks great. Big calipers, drilled rotors. We do have paint protection film on the mirrors. And I do believe, yep, the entire uh, front end has paint protection film on it as well, covering the entire hood. Uh, but the driver's side mirror looks phenomenal. Going over the driver's side door. No issues there. I apologize if you see little flecks uh, like that. Unfortunately, they are doing uh, lawn care work around me. And this being a black car shows absolutely everything so please bear with me uh driver's side rear quarter panel there's one defect one scratch right there that is not a piece of grass or anything that is a nick in the paint there um but that's the only defect in the rear quarter panel area which is a quite a bit of real estate rear driver's side wheel no issues there Moving around the back end of the car here. Back end of the R8 just looks phenomenal from the vents on the sides, the taillight design. I mean, these cars look really, really good. The rear diffusers are pretty aggressive for being a factory piece as well. Granted, it is a supercar, so that's kind of to be expected. Uh, but there's no flaws on the back, no marks, scratches, stings, nothing. Has reverse sensors and a backup camera. Passenger rear quarter panel. Looks absolutely flawless. And then here you can see with the sun hitting the paint, you can kind of see the metallic flake in it and the, uh, the life this paint has in it. Looks really nice. Rear passenger wheel. Got no issues there, it looks good. Passenger side door. No issues there, no flaws. Passenger mirror, perfect, no issues. Front passenger fender area, side of the hood technically. Looks good, no issues there. And the front passenger wheel, we've got no blemishes at all. So I will go ahead and walk around the vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better a overall idea of the condition the vehicle is in. We do comprehensive walk around videos here at Exotic Motorsports to give our out of state buyers peace of mind and confidence when purchasing sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you were to own the car yourself and help separate the bigger flaws from these smaller, less significant ones, giving it a true uh, overall picture of the condition of the car because it's easy to make it sound like it's in really bad shape when you point out every tiny little flaw that a car has but if you can only see the big noticeable ones, it will kind of help you get a better well-rounded opinion instead of fixating on all the small things. Uh, granted, this car does only have one flaw, as I pointed out right there, driver's side rear quarter panel, small nick in the paint. Uh, moving to the interior here, we do have beautiful black leather paired with red accents, or maybe red leather paired with black accents. Hard to say, pretty close to a 50-50 split. 
door panels are immaculate. There's no wear on the panels whatsoever. This car is packed full of features, carbon accents all throughout the interior. That'll point out we've got power locks, express up and down windows, power folding heated mirrors, uh, power open hood, I guess, uh, electric hood pop for storage, the frunk, power adjustable seats, heated leather seats. Oh, that red looks so good. Push button start on the steering wheel. Typical race car fashion, which I'm a big fan of. So here is all of the information for the car. Oh, I guess the rear hatch is still open. Um, all of the information in the car is right here on the driver's gauge cluster. There's no center infotainment screen or anything like that, nothing to pop up. It's all right here, which I think is really cool. So you have trip info, you can go over to your service information, Bluetooth, uh, you have your navigation here. Um, you can pull up car, uh, like temperature info, like you have your oil temp, your, I think that's trans temp on the bottom right. You can pull up all kinds of other things, but all of the information, media, everything is right here in the gauge cluster. And I like the, uh, the layout of it, how you have your three options and how they kind of conform around each other. On the left, you kind of have like an auxiliary option, kind of pick whatever. Um, on the right, I believe you have the same choice as well. And then the center, it has that very ergonomic uh, attack and speedometer layout, which I like a lot. Uh, you also have your drive select option button down here. So you could choose that. Change your driving mode. Over here, you've got the uh, same options, but you have buttons kind of for a, uh, I guess a faster, better muscle memory coordinated. So if I click down on this, that brings up the media, which there is none, but um, push up on the left button here. That'll bring up your map. It's just an easier way to get to options instead of toggling with the steering wheel, which can be relatively distracting. You do have paddle shifters there on the steering wheel. Wiper options there, blinker, uh, cruise control there. Here's all your climate control options as far as temperature, or I'm sorry, fan speed, temperature, um, position, position there. And then you've got your heated seats. Down there you've got two USB uh, type A connections and a three and a half millimeter auxiliary port and a 12 volt auxiliary port as well. You've got your active arrow button there, parking sensor toggle, hazards, traction control toggle, electric parking brake, and then all of your um, gauge cluster navigation options there. Not really a whole lot going on. The interior is really simple and I definitely appreciate that in this car. So we've got more carbon fiber accents, including the uh, gauge bezel there. We've got the vent bezel. And then the inserts over here on the driver, or uh, sorry, on the passenger side door, including the vent and then that little uh, insert option over here. It does have Bang & Olufsen Premium Audio as well. The entire interior is perfect. There's no signs of wear, no damage whatsoever on the interior anywhere. We've got a frameless auto dimming rear view mirror with a built-in compass, universal garage door uh, controls there. And then that little door button there will indicate whether or not the lights come on when you open the door. The illuminated entry option, which is really nice to have. Uh, steering wheel looks great. There's no wear, no fading on the leather there. I mean, the car just, it looks, looks like brand new really. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the 5.2 V8 that we've, or I'm sorry, well, V10 we've got in the back so used to talking about v8s every day so you pull the uh the release on the inside and it will automatically extend the rear glass all the way up for you you don't even have to lift it up and so here we've got our v10 which sounds phenomenal this car does also have uh, an active exhaust option so you can open or close the valves making it quieter or louder the car makes all kinds of pops and bangs uh when you're when you're driving it hard it sounds amazing. The, uh, the exhaust note of a V10, especially in the R8, 
is phenomenal. Uh, the car idles and drives very, very smooth. This is a very tame car unless you really get into it. Uh, if you set the driving mode to uh, sport or whatever the aggressive option is and you really sink your foot into it, this thing will take off. But otherwise, it's a very comfortable, uh, tame, reasonable car to drive. It's really not bad. It's not something that you have to worry about it getting away from you or anything like that, honestly. Uh, this car, if you think about it, when you think about a sports car, especially a supercar, uh, you think of how uncomfortable and impractical it is. Honestly, on the freeway, it gets decent uh, fuel economy. The front trunk storage has a decent amount of storage in it. It has tons of options on the interior. The seats are very comfortable and you can close the exhaust valves, making it quiet on long drives. This is really a super versatile car. So whether or not you're just going to get groceries, driving around town, going on long trips, whatever it is, this car, uh, and especially track use, this car can accommodate pretty much any kind of driving you're after. So that is our 2018 Audi R8 RWS 5.2. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.